Parents and students of Whitesides Elementary want the Charleston County School District to hear their concerns over what they're calling whistleblower retaliation. They claim two teachers were recently relocated because they were vocal about their concerns surrounding CO2 levels in the school. Meredith Blair has followed this story for months now and has the details on these ongoing concerns. Students and parents stood right here across the street from Whitesides Elementary earlier today around noon. They had signs in hand and they were chanting, bring back Miss White, bring back Miss Bowman. Those are the two teachers they say were ripped from their classrooms and placed inside other schools within CCSD with just about three months left in the school year. Bring back Miss Bowman and White! Bring back Miss Bowman and White! This is nothing that parents take lightly, right? These teachers spend more time with our children than we do during the day. Parents say this is an unnecessary disruption to classroom learning and demand retaliation stops against teachers who spoke up for their health and the health of their students regarding the CO2 issues. The frustration is that this continues to want to be swept under the rug by CCSD. Parents question why the emotions of these students were not considered in these decisions. I think the way Mrs. Bowman was being dismissed um, from the school left the children feeling very uneasy about trusting the choices that our school is making. Students say they are upset and don't understand why this is happening. I want Miss Bowman back because she was trying to get us healthy classroom conditions and she got transferred for it and that's not fair. She was one of the nicest teachers I really ever had to through the years I've been in Whitesides, she always opens the window for us to have fresh air. Now, in a statement, the district said in part the decision to transfer both teachers was to address concerns raised by both teachers regarding issues specific to Whitesides and ensure their safety as valued employees. The district cannot comment further as this issue is a personnel matter. Parents and students also said that they still have concerns surrounding the CO2 levels within the school, despite all that the district has done to ensure it's safe. Reporting in Mount Pleasant, Meredith Blair, Life 5 News.